Welcome to a Scottish Watches video, not a podcast, a video. It's been a little while since we last did one of these, but we thought it was about time. And the reason for that is we have a watch to talk about. It's our new collaboration and this is with a good long-term friend of the show, friend of the community, Juzy from Isotope Watches. And we're here to talk about the new Hydrium Alba. How are you doing? I'm great, thank you. And you? Doing excellent. So let's get right down to brass tacks and start talking about the watch. The first thing that is apparent is you've got a new box. This is something I've not seen before from you guys. It's actually something I've never seen before from anybody. So what's the story here? So it's not an original box uh, from us. It's something that a few brands are using it. The way you just opened it, I think it explains why I love the box. You know, it looks like a butterfly. It looks like opening and showing a piece of jewelry. And I think it's, you know, part of the magic of discovering a new watch. I love it. I was able to find the correct supplier and he was able to make it in the blue I wanted and also the, the, the brown on in the inside. Something completely unique, different and will not look out of place on a shelf or indeed if you were to travel with it. I like watch rolls, I like watch boxes but this is the perfect size you could have a watch with you, a watch on wrist. Super. Now let's forget the box, let's get down to the watch itself. So this is a watch that I wanted to do the day I visited Aaron in Scotland. Um, I was in the ferry and I was looking at the ocean, there was a flag waving and I thought okay so this will be amazing in terms of colors to try to reproduce this in one of our idiom basically when we talked about it and you were on board with the idea it was a way of transforming our uh, very successful uh, watch case this idiom collection and make a version that represent the scottish flag without showing it in your face well the thing that caught me first is the dial the color of the dial the text and then these almost candy colored hands yeah so the dial is a white white enamel and the railroad track in blue tries to replicate the flag obviously uh, the same colors as scotland and then the hands we had to flame blue hands it completes the craziness because it's very difficult to find the diver's watch with these characteristics you no know, I, I i don't remember to see a diver's watch with flame blue hands i confess i have never seen before maybe there is but i have never seen and to complete it, we have the bezel with 120 clicks with an insert of a crystal sapphire. It's in black. Uh, it's like, you know, framing everything that is on the dial. And uh, we have a crazy Easter egg, which is a lacrima in electric blue that is very well disguised in the bezel. And you will only see it when you are outside yeah, in the sun. That's the, the, the main characteristic here for the watch. Now, people should note the watch that we're showing here is a prototype. It's been kicked around by myself for two months. Prior to that, your photographer had it, knocked the living hell out of it. So if you see any little blemishes, scuffed scratches, little dinks, that's my fault. And the one that you will end up on the wrist if you buy this will be far, far nicer. It will be perfect. Yes, absolutely. So, but you know, in terms of design, it's exactly the same, including the crown so the crown is high grip uh, it's very easy to work we have very small shoulder protectors they were very difficult to make and to keep you know an original look in terms of dimensions uh, so it's a 40 millimeter watch with uh, 48 millimeters from lug to lug and the height it's 12.9 uh, millimeters or 14.9 i believe if we had the double dome uh, sapphire crystal the shape of the case makes it very, very friendly user. It's very simple to have it on your wrist. Well, simple is our middle name because both me and Dave are extremely simple. Now, should we flip it over and get to the good stuff in the rear? Let's go. The case back is a maritime inspiration. We have a diver's helmet, just like most classic divers watch for the last decades. We have two sharks because they are, you know, one of my dearest animals i just love sharks it's something that always inspires me their coldness and their soulless uh, and i like to do exactly the opposite not to have soul in everything that i do and then as we were in the ferry we also decided to add some boat elements just for fun to make it look much more interesting and then we engraved the text on the case back as well all the information we we, we need it's there to screw and unscrew the case back we also have the lacrima shape uh, which i think it's you know just a, a fun way to represent our brand 
And this watch is available when, how many, and how much? So we are making 100, releasing November 30, St. Andrew's Day, and uh, they will be available on Isotop Watch's website. It will be £840 in the UK or £700 outside the UK because there is no VAT. And the spec on the watch, movement, water resistance, etc. Yeah, so the watch has uh, inside uh, its uh, Swiss Landron with um, highly decorated uh, with Cote de Genève and Perlage. Each watch is assembled in Switzerland and regulated before shipping to clients. It's an excellent movement. We have been using it for the last year and, uh, you know, it's flawless. Today it has been very, very good. And we had to finish up with a cheesy souvenir shop, Scottish Tartan, just for shits and giggles. But no, thanks for coming on. Thanks for explaining all about this collaborative watch. Me and Dave have been speaking about it in the podcast for quite some time. We have taken it on a tour. This one has been to Edinburgh Castle multiple times. It's been across to Glasgow, to Glasgow Cathedral, and it's been on the rest as I have travelled around the country over the last couple of months. And it's just great that now people can actually get it on their wrists as well. So, Jose, thanks for coming on the show, and we will catch you again soon. Thank you. All the best. 